Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems admin with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Today, I'm going to show you how to disable an account in Active Directory. So let's get into our VMware environment. I'm already here. We're going to log into our domain controller. I'll type in our password. And we are going to open up the server manager console uh, here. And we are going to go to tools. And we're going to go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Let's open this guy up here. And we're going to arrow down on our domain, which in this case, because it's our lab, it's lab.lan. And we're going to go to our lab users OU. And you can see we have a user here, Robert Smith, and we're going to disable him. And there's a few things that I do when I disable an account. And this is just how I was taught. So um, whether it's the right way or the wrong way, and it's definitely over cautious. Uh, when you disable an account, when somebody leaves your company, um, you don't want to delete the account. You just want to disable it uh, because there's been many times where somebody has left and then come back and, you know, they want to have their email and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, the way that I have been taught over the years is we don't, we don't disable it. Oh, excuse me. We don't delete a user account. We just disable it. Um, so couple of things. The easiest thing to do here is right click on the user and click disable the account. And now Robert cannot log in. The other thing that I will do is I will also reset his password. So we'll give it a dummy password. Doesn't really matter what it is. Force him to change it at next logon. Okay. Now most people would probably be done there. I take it a step for, I was taught to take it a step further we'll come in here and double click on his account and we will go to the account tab and log on hours. We'll deny them. We'll de deny all log on hours and then we'll hit expire his account to let's say today, um, you know, some, some day in the, in the past we'll apply it. And then I don't have an, a group created here. So let's, let's do it. Um, live um let's go and create a let me see if i can find i don't have a group we'll just create it in here we'll create a new group and we'll do group we'll do lab disabled users and this will be a global security group and basically the reason that i create this disabled group is this group is assigned to nothing there's no uh, security permissions there's no distribution lists it's literally just a black hole that we assign uh, terminated users to. So now we'll come back into Robert Smith and we'll see this member of tab here. And we're going to come over to add and we're going to do uh, lab disabled. Oops, if I could, if I could type <laughs> new check names. And now in order to get rid of the domain users group, we have to set our new group here, lab disabled as the primary. And then we'll remove domain users. Yep. Apply it. And now Robert's definitely not getting in. Now, most people would just disable the account. I go, I take it a step further because that's how I was taught. And uh, it's just good practice just to make sure his account is completely disabled. Even if you were to get past that, the password has changed. It's not allowed to log on to anything uh, during, you know, any, any time. Um, and he has no access to even the basic domain users group. So it's just into a, 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 a uh, you know, disabled users group. So uh, that's how you disable a user in Active Directory. I hope this tip, these tips helped you out. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.